The lowest temperatures in 30 years have ravaged North China's Inner Mongolia in recent months. According to local authorities, the extreme weather has left two people dead and affected more than 700,000 others. Let's find out more. Since the beginning of winter, snow has fallen on 917,000 square kilometres of Inner Mongolia, covering an astonishing 78% of the land area. 82,000 square kilometres has been buried under snow at least 25 centimetres deep. The figures were recently revealed by the Regional Meteorological Authority. Sources with the region's Civil Affairs Department revealed that more than 3,700 residents had been relocated and 260,000 others remain in need of emergency aid. Since the beginning of winter, the eastern part of Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region has suffered several rounds of heavy snow. Local farmers have been kept busy tending to their winter harvests in a bid to reduce economic losses as much as possible. Liu Yongsha told us how his 50 acres of corn had been covered by 30 centimetres of snow since the heavy snowfall in November last year. The corn had already been collected, but the heavy snowfall came before we had time to get them home, so the harvest was covered with snow. According to Jai Lian Rei, director of the Agriculture Bureau of Wenyo Turbana, 122.5 thousand acres of corn were covered by snow, partly because of the late harvest, but also because of continuous rainfall experienced in October 2012. Last year's harvest was delayed due to the wet weather, then before the corn had time to dry out, the first snow of the season fell. Liu Yangsha told us that the corn had all frozen in the snow, so now the only way to get to the corn was to manually dig it out. But the manual labour is not fast enough to meet the pressing need of the farmers. While their cattle are going hungry waiting for the feed, birds are feasting on uncovered corn. The harvest is not as good as previous years. We have lost a lot. For every one acre, we have lost over 100 kilograms of corn. So far, 107,000 acres of corn has been collected, with the remaining 10,000 acres still covered with snow. By January the 4th, the extreme weather conditions had resulted in the deaths of around 180,000 heads of livestock, causing estimated direct economic losses of 690 million yuan, or 110 million US dollars. The civil affairs authorities now plan to distribute disaster relief funds to those affected by the adverse weather conditions before Spring Festival, which falls on February the 10th.